Right, well, at the moment, um, Annie's been sedated. She also has local anaesthetic in both of her front feet, the muscles. And um, today we're doing a binary test, um, which will determine how much blood flow she actually has going down into the hooves. Um, in very severe cases of laminitis, what actually happens is it's, it's like um, a chain reaction. The blood supply slows down, which causes the lamini to expand, which in turn pushes the pedal bone, which is a bone that's in there, it pushes it down to the hoof. Um, in Annie's case, uh, when she was rescued, her hooves had never been cut. She does have um, laminitis. It possibly isn't active now because laminitis can be active or not active. See, the good news with this pony is she doesn't have the retraction of tendons that Goldie's got. Mm -hmm. um, this is was normally caused by severe pain and it causes the horse to retract its tendon to sort of walk on tiptoes. And long term, the tendons cannot straighten themselves. Now, Annie's really lucky. This is her saving grace. She doesn't have this problem. Good girl. At the moment, Dorothy is doing the x rays because obviously, this is the first step. We can actually see how far the pedal bone um, has rotated. And then obviously the second one will be for Dorothy to inject the dye into the veins and then we will see how much blood is actually going down. See, this is the difference when we rescue a horse. This is what rescuing a horse is actually all about. This is where the money goes. <laughs> Dorothy has now applied a tourniquet to stop the blood flow travelling up because when she injects the dye, we want it to stay down into the hoof to see what's going on there. We do not want the dye to travel up into the rest of the horse's body. So normally Dorothy does actually have a proper tourniquet but because this little pony is so small, She's had to improvise with a DIY one, which is working just as well. And here goes the dolly. Well, little Annie's had her venograph. She does have blood flow going down into both front feet, into the hooves. Um, it's not brilliant. However, there is a good possibility that when we take another venogram in uh, six months' time, we could actually find an improvement. With proper trimming and good care, she's in with a very good chance that her blood flow will improve. Um, she's certainly not chronic that she needs to be put to sleep. Um, she's obviously always going to be a special needs pony. Um, she is in no pain whatsoever. We actually give her um, a painkiller twice a day to make sure that she's very, very comfortable. Um, she's free range in the yard. Uh, she does have a good quality of life. So we'll actually know more in a few months time as to the quality of the blood flow and how Annie's progressing. But fingers crossed, we're actually very, very hopeful that it will actually improve for her with the care that she's getting there at the centre.